to Felix's point about how analysis of this, like the, of, of just like a patron and a client sort of falls short. If, I mean, I guess if I could provide some sort of psychoanalysis here of the American government and American culture. I, I think about comment, I, a comment, a speech, a public speech given recently by the president of Colombia, uh, Gustavo Petro. And in it, he said that, like, you know, in, in, in responding to what we've been seeing in Gaza, he said that the Western middle classes have once again opened up the door for Hitler. And I just think it's just like with Israel, we have this like one giant exception carved out through which the West can continue to like relive and project our fantasies about, you know, genocidal violence and subjugation and racial hierarchy. But with the massive exception that like it's OK because we're protecting Jewish people from a second Holocaust. And I just like I think like Israel is just like our little Hitler. It's our little Hitler on the shelf and we've let it in the house. Well, no, now it's, you know, who, yeah. Who, who, speaking of Latin American uh, leaders saying, no, it wasn't there that Guadal Gustavo Arevalo, the Arevalo. father was... of the current, uh, or sorry, Juan Jose Arevalo, excuse me, who is the father of the current, uh, Guad the recently elected Guatemalan leader. And what did he say? What he said was that sometimes I think since 1945, it was actually Hitler who won. Like, I'm paraphrasing it, or like, yeah. bastardizing but that, it slightly. But that but that's, the... that's what he said. But that the legacy Spirit. of American foreign policy is one in which the uh, essentially the Nazis it's what it's what's been said you know the Fourth Reich policy uh, in the Third World that America sponsors um, and and you know I guess in Israel's case whatever world Israel's in so yeah it's similar similar remark how would NATO look different if it <laughs> if the Third Reich had won out that's a good you know? point. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it is. Look, like to that point, like what's the big what's the second biggest standing army in NATO after the US Turkey, you know, like yeah. the, the the literal model for Hitler in many respects, but also like these days, you know, probably one of the like most unpleasant like governments in that part of the world.